Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. There's another crystal over here. Let's see. Where'd you come from? Interesting. I thought that would open the gate. All right, you've got one. Good work. So then there must be another glowing light way up there. I can't believe there's my mother alive. Well, you know. There, it's out and it's open. But you've got jokes now about your mother being alive? Alright, Reaper Gem Fragment. Powdered Mammoth Tusk. Don't I need that for something? Alright, let's go. This beam is supposed to drain my life, but due to Stendar's protections, it doesn't seem to have that effect. Or is there something I'm supposed to do with this? seems to affect it. Do I know what you mean, Serana? Your mother being alive and she's a vampire? I'm glad you see this as funny and you can make jokes about it. But I must say that I do feel for your plight, being daughters of Cold Harbor being enslaved by Molag Ball. Alright, it doesn't seem to be anything else over here, except for this barrier that we cannot penetrate. So it looks like we need to return to your mother. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, there's another crystal. It's like you're better off using light magic against these creatures. Not sure what. Oh, another crystal. Careful. I think we may be in for some trouble. Really? You know, your vampiric powers really seem to be useless against these creatures. Oops, 
something's something is here. Oh no, you don't. Done and done. Hmm, I'm sensing something else lurking around. But I don't see a way to open that uh that gate. What's this? A Daedric heart. Wait a minute. Don't tell me we're trapped in here, Serana. This is what I get for exploring. You're not getting the best of me. Done and done. Now, is this a different chest? Yes, a grand soul gem. The Book of Life and Service. I don't think we need that. Could be mistaken, though. Will this take me anywhere? It did. A soul essence gem. All right, now this beam is drawing my life. Let me get off of here. way to get out of that. Prison, I'll call it. Now, there was another gem there. It's over here. Let me check. How is my health? Normal now. If I go here, what happens to it? Still normal, unchanged. I think this is a good thing. I want to say that finding that gem fragment... fix the issue that I was having. Yes. Is there no end to this nightmare? Apparently there isn't. The barrier should be gone now. Let's head back. Yes, but I believe we need to... I don't know if we can even get up there to that gym. There is a chip. Oh, it's trying to drain me. Let's see. Alright, well that did put it out. There must be another one then. Oh, no, you don't. What have we got? You. you know, 
no, using a master spell could have easily vanquished them all, but... Wait, did this open now? It did. Daedra Heart. So, it doesn't look like we could get up on that roof unless there's one of those... discs that will teleport me, and I don't see it. So I think this will have to do. Alright. Serana, I don't know. Did you run off to see your mother? That's where I'm headed now. Leave the size of this crossbow. Ah, oh, good, you caught up. down. Valerica. You managed to destroy all three keepers? Mm. Very impressive. Yes. I seem to have that effect. You managed to destroy all three keepers? Very impressive. Are you able to give us the scroll now? Yes. Please follow me. Keep watch for Dernevere. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. I'm glad you're here. I don't think I could be doing this alone. Oh, here we go. Come on. I'm glad you're here. I don't think I could be doing this alone. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad everyone is here. something. It's huh. He's here. Defend yourself. I think you see something too. What was that? He just launched and was looked like fireworks. That was done and was you I heard something. What is it firing? Lyrica is down. This won't end well for you.
success. Thank you, Stendar. We couldn't have done it without your might. Give my astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. <laughs> it's all right. What makes you say that? Volumes written on Dernevere allege that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears they were mistaken. Unless... Uh-oh. Here it comes. Go on. The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaly hide. Owner. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernevere's physical form while he reconstitutes himself. And how long will that take? Minutes? Hours? Years? I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll and you can be on your way. you're here. I don't think I could be doing this alone. What did you want? You know, I don't think you could either, to be honest. <laughs> I can't believe we found my mother alive. Here it is. Oh, the you know Elder it. Scroll. That's it. That's the last scroll. Yes. Come on, let's take it to Dexian. Alright, hold on. Don't, don't rush. I what is Soul alive. Husk Extract? I think I need you know to I mean. examine that. I'm glad you're here. I don't think I could be doing this alone. I can't believe we found my mother alive. Well, yes, yes. You and your jokes about your mother being alive. I can't believe we found my mother alive. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Yes. Come on, let's go. Looks like she's waiting to give us a farewell speech. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your way. You're staying here? I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to fruition. We may never return. After what I've put Serana through, I would understand if she never wished to see me again. I leave that decision in your it's hands. It's not up to me. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. Understood. Serana? Did you have anything to ask before you depart? Um... Yes. How did you become imprisoned here? When I entered the Soul Cairn, I had intended to strike a bargain with the Ideal Masters, the custodians of this place. What was the bargain? I requested refuge in the Soul Cairn. And in exchange... I would provide the Ideal Masters the souls that they craved. If I had foreseen the value they placed on my own soul, I would never have come here. Mm. They tricked you. The Ideal Masters unleashed their keepers and sent them to destroy me. Fortunately, I was able to hold them at bay and retreat into these ruins. You became trapped. Unfortunately, yes. Since the Keepers weren't able to claim my soul, they had their minions construct a barrier that I'd never be able to breach. 
And you've been imprisoned here for all this time. Time has very little meaning to me. Consequently, it has little meaning to the Ideal Masters as well. I suppose you could call this the ultimate waiting game. Each watching the other to see which will give in. Hmm. And who are the Ideal Masters? I know very little about them. They're mystic entities that lord over the Soul Cairn, controlling every aspect from its fabric to its appearance. What do they resemble? Well, some necromancers believe they are the crystalline structures dotting the Soul Cairn. I believe there's more to it than that. How so? I think they transcend what we perceive as a physical form. Perhaps they were once corporeal beings, but they've obviously reached a point where they no longer require a tangible presence. And the crystals? Conduits, through which the Ideal Masters speak to their underlings and feed on their victims. Why would they require sustenance? The Ideal Master's weakness is their insatiable hunger for pure souls. It's the reason for the Soul Cairn's existence, and the only leverage a Necromancer has when bargaining with them. What do the Masters provide in return? The ability to summon powerful undead guardians, as one would conjure an Atronach or Daedra. However, the majority of necromancers that are foolish enough to enter into a bargain with the Ideal Masters wind up here as harvested souls. And why haven't you pursued the prophecy? Harkon's vision is a world plunged in eternal darkness, where the vampire can flourish and never again fear the tyranny of the sun. What he fails to realize is how much attention would be called to our kind if the prophecy came to fruition. What sort of attention? If eternal night fell, there are many who wouldn't stand for it. They would raise armies in attempts to return things to normal. The order of the day would be our destruction, until every last vampire was hunted down and eliminated. <laughs> I could see that happening. So you prefer living in the shadows? I do. It's how the vampire has survived for millennia, and the only way we can continue to survive in the future. All right, it has been a pleasure. Farewell. Remember that Harkon's not to be trusted. I'll remember that. Your eyes are Did so... Did you have anything to ask before you depart? Compelling. Come Let's go home. You know, it's it's hard to tell which of Did you have anything of these to women is more depart. beautiful than the other. Let's go home. You know, I actually prefer a mature woman. Did you have anything to ask before you depart? Oh, don't. The sooner we get the scroll don't home, look the jealous, Serana. All right, let's go. Yes, but Lyrica is quite attractive. We get the scroll home, the sooner we deal with my father. And what about this? It's Dernavir. He's reconstituted himself. And he's not attacking for some reason. Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quanarin. Hmm. I thought you were dead. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life and death. Why are we speaking? I believe in civility among seasoned warriors. Flatter. And I find your ear worthy of my words. 
My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. And you could just refer to me as Dragonborn. That's why you were defeated. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. And here it comes. What kind of favor? For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the ideal masters. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. And what's stopping you? I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. How could I help? I will place my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and teach you my Thum. Your Thum? Just call your name in Tamriel, that's it? Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quinarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. Hmm. All right. So learn the first word of the soul tear shout. What? I've learned it. I think. What? Yes, what? Just by standing here. The sooner we get the scroll home, the sooner we deal with my father. Yes. But there's one more matter that we have to attend to. This one is probably going to be the least pleasant of all. Ever since we arrived here, I've sensed a deep, unsettling darkness. And it's coming from this direction. Yes, there. There it is. Darkness and evil. So pure that even I looking at us. It's like he's the antithesis of everything that I am. Come on, let's go home. No. The darkness must be destroyed. <laughs>